that if we are honest with ourselves, that the most fascinating problem in the world is who am I? What do you mean? What do you feel when you say the word I? I myself. Now that's terribly important. Really, it's a fundamental, ultimate mystery. The only thing you need to know to understand the deepest metaphysical secret is this. That for every outside, there is an inside, and for every inside, there is an outside. And although they are different, they go together. There is, in other words, a secret conspiracy between all insides and all outsides. And the conspiracy is this look as different as possible and yet underneath to be identical because you don't find one without the other like Tweedledum and Tweedledee agree to have a battle and so we ignore and are unaware of the vast vast extent of our being people who by various methods become fully aware of their floodlight consciousness have what is called a mystical experience or a cosmic consciousness or what the Buddhists call Bodhi, awakening the Hindus call Moksha, liberation because they discover that the real deep, deep self that which you really are fundamentally and forever is the whole of being. All that there is, the works, that's you. Look, here is a tree in the garden, and every summer it produces apples. And we call it an apple tree, because the tree apples. That's what it does. All right. Now here is a solar system inside a galaxy. The peculiarities of the solar system is that at least on the planet Earth, the thing peoples. In just the same way that an apple tree apples. Now maybe two million years ago, somebody came from another galaxy in a flying saucer and had a look at the solar system. And they looked it over and shrugged their shoulders and said, just a bunch of rocks. And they went away. Later on, maybe two million years later, they came around and they looked at it again. And they said, excuse me, we thought it was a bunch of rocks, but it's peopling. And it's alive after all, it has done something intelligent. Because you see, we grow out of this world in exactly the same way that the apples grow on the apple tree. If evolution means anything, it means that. And the whole of Western thought is profoundly influenced through and through and through by the idea that all things, all events, all people, all mountains, all stars, all flowers, all uh, grasshoppers, all worms, everything. And they have been made. And it is therefore natural for a Western child to say to its mother, how was I made? That would be quite an unnatural question for a Chinese child. Because the Chinese do not think of nature as something made. They look upon it as something that grows. And the two processes are quite different. When you make something, you put it together, you assemble parts, or you carve an image out of wood or stone, working from the outside to the inside. But when you watch something grow, it works in an entirely different way. It doesn't assemble parts. It expands from within and gradually complicates itself, expanding outwards like a bud blossoming, like a seed turning into a plant. 